you sort of think like if you stab something with a wire, surely it will bleed. But actually, at a, at a really small scale, it does not. It's obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Everything that's encoded in memory, you could... Uh, the announcement of Neuralink has brought a lot of anticipation and a lot of skepticism by observers. Elon Musk's entry into the neurotechnology world is a surprise, but a welcome one, as it brings in a lot of money into advancing its technology. Set to take on the world later this year, here's how Elon Musk's Neuralink will change the world. Neurotechnology First things first, Elon Musk's new Neuralink will change the industry it's entering. Currently, there are many neurotechnology companies whose products do work in the present day. The problem with those is that they're simply too expensive for the vast majority of the population to even consider getting. While Neuralink is expected to be the first technological implant that will be mass manufactured and may be adopted by a large segment of society, not just those who are sick and bedridden with diseases. The kind of investment Neuralink has already seen and the investment that Neuralink is expected to receive is simply unheard of in the neurotechnology world. More investment means that this chip will be capable of many features that extremely expensive yet basic chips were never able to do due to a lack of a research budget. Other neurotechnology chips were often made with specific functions in mind. Neuralink is not just a chip that's focused on fixing one problem. It's a device that wants to change the way we live forever. It's designed to benefit those who definitely need it, while also benefiting those who simply wanted to check out all of its crazy features. Even after Neuralink is successfully tested on humans, it'll probably take years for it to receive medical approval from all the relevant authorities. And it may take even more time for the price to finally come down enough for people to adopt it on a mass scale. To get an idea of the abilities of Neuralink, all we have to do is take a look at some of the existing giants in the neurotechnology world. Keep in mind that none of these have the financial backing of one of the richest men on Earth. In 2006, Matthew Nagel managed to fully control a computer cursor remotely from his brain through a chip he inserted in there. In 2016, Bill Kovachar, a man who had lost all control over his body due to paralysis, was able to not only regain some control over his body, but he was able to perform actual functions like being able to eat and drink all from his brain chip. He was even able to slightly move his toes, and if the technology was a little more advanced, he may even have been able to walk again. Medical Advancements When the Neuralink first launches, it'll primarily be used by people who need it, not necessarily by people who want it. The people who will need this technology the most will likely need it for medical reasons, and there are many medical advancements that Neuralink can make for them. The most likely use of Neuralink to help people would be people who suffer from different forms of dementia or nerve damage. When you have dementia, neurons in your brain aren't able to communicate with the rest of the body as effectively as they once could. After a Neuralink implant, it could help rejuvenate these neurons if not simply take over the communication part for them. It's already believed that the implant inside your brain would effectively be able to jumpstart inactive neurons making them function the way they were supposed to in the first place. Not only that, but if a person with a Neuralink implant is starting to go into the early stages of dementia, the Neuralink implant would immediately be able to detect it, as it's already monitoring all the neurons in a person's brain. Skill Learning While medical needs will take care of Neuralink's initial orders, the implant is meant to eventually transform the way humans use our brains on a mass scale in the future. One of its main functions that will rapidly improve our lives will be its ability to make humans learn skills almost instantly. While Neuralink may not give humans any physical advantage, it could very easily teach us, or rather download for us, any sort of formulaic and repetitive skills we might want to learn. For example, Neuralink could use its ability to communicate with our neurons to help teach us things like the guitar chords to a song or how to play the piano. You could just download the piano skill and start playing the piano without a single second of practice. While this is probably going to make all the people who spent years learning the piano mad, it would still be a massive feat for artificial skill learning. This begs the question, are humans turning into cyborgs with technologies like Neuralink? Elon Musk had an interesting take on this, saying, we are already cyborgs. You have a machine extension of yourself in the form of your phone and your computer and all your applications. By far, you have more power, more capability than the President of the United States had 30 years ago. If people were skeptical about any technology entering our lives, things like smartphones and computers would have never been invented in the first place. Without a doubt, Neuralink will also help us remember things. No longer will we need to read things over and over again to remember them. Whether it's a grocery list or a test, Neuralink will have all the information you need whenever you want it and will be one of the first big steps into incorporating computers into our own daily functional lives. Remote Technology One of the biggest features of Elon Musk's Neuralink might just be its ability to remotely connect to smart devices across your house. Think about it, Google, Amazon, Apple, and all these other massive companies have come up with their own smart home devices that can remotely turn off your lights or perform basic functions, but they all just work. 
they're extremely inaccurate and sometimes they just can't perform the features that you'd expect. With Neuralink, you can have a direct, accurate Neuralink to all the devices in your home. When you want to turn off the lights, you can just think of the lights turning off and poof, the lights are off. Imagine if you're in an emergency situation and can't reach your phone to call emergency services. With Neuralink, you could remotely call emergency services through your brain and alert the authorities in a situation where you can't move. One of the most amazing remote features of the Neuralink will be how it helps amputees. People who wear prosthetic arms and legs might be able to easily move their prosthetic limbs as if they were their own. Except for the ability to feel, it might even be like you never lost your limbs in the first place. There are already many prosthetic companies that are working on products that will help link with devices like the Neuralink and many more in order to improve the lives of amputees with modern technology. Some of the crazy ideas. We've discussed remote technology, how Neuralink can help in medicine, how it can help people learn skills and many more things that are quite likely to happen. However, there are also some crazy ideas relating to Neuralink that we're not sure would ever be advertised by the company itself but may as well be a possibility as the technology matures. One of those crazy ideas is remote mind control. Essentially, someone else using the Neuralink chip in your brain to control your actions when you're incapable of making those actions yourself. While currently your own neurons are more than powerful enough to override any commands given to you by Neuralink, as the technology improves, who knows how powerful it can get. Another crazy idea is that the Neuralink will be used to make superhuman machines. While we all thought the technology would eventually take over all our jobs, it turns out the technology might take over humans themselves. Think about it. Can you even leave your own home without your phone or some other kind of modern technology? A day might come where people with a Neuralink chip inside their brain will be able to perform much more efficiently and productively without putting in nearly as much effort as those without one. With all that being said, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that Neuralink will become a revolutionary product that will change the world. The question now isn't if Neuralink will become a revolutionary product or not, but rather when it will turn into that product that will completely change the world as we know it. There are simply too many advantages to having a fully-fledged modern AI machine implanted right inside your brain, which can give you all the information about the world and all the access without even moving a single muscle. While there are definitely some real concerns about it, including the invasive procedure required to get it, in the future, its pros will definitely outweigh the cons and Neuralink may become as essential as a smartphone is today. That's a wrap for how Elon Musk's Neuralink will change the world. What do you think? Do you think this is a truly revolutionary technology? Or is it all just media hype? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.